Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Sardew Valley. Uh, I'm going to start this day off with uh, not clicking on the right one. <laughs> An omelet! We already had that. Okay, so reruns. Whatever. So, last time, uh, we had an earthquake. We will see what that... See what happened, or see where that happened. And see if anything good came of it. Or bad. This is embarrassing. I lost my lucky purple shorts. I'm telling you this because I can trust you. If you can find them, please bring them back to me discreetly. I'll pay you well. I suppose. If I'm not doing anything else, I mean, I can go find your shorts, which is kind of weird. Uh, you know, I'd have to go up here and dump some stuff quick. I got a lot of stuff in my inventory. Four to ten? Oh, that's not even that good. Oh, that's lame. It says level nine, too. Is it just because I can swing it fast? What? Is that is that a thing? Oh my god. Is that a joke? <laughs> it's gotta be. So... Actually, this completed our bundle here, so... I think we just need 99 slime. Which I keep dumping, because my inventory gets full. Uh, let's go that, that... Keep the coal, because we have a ton of iron we can make. Perfect. Got some more geodes. And then two scrolls we can turn into Gunther, so I'm interested to see what those are going to be. Winter root. You usually can't get that until winter, so that's probably because I was in the ice mine. That would make sense. I think we can just dump that right there. Perfect. Cool. I'll get the water. All right. So it looks like we just finished up with that. We have a lot of um, we have a lot of iron. So I think I'm gonna go back to the mines and try and find some copper. And I will do that off camera because I've been to those levels already and you've already seen them. So I won't bore you with all that stuff. And uh, get back to you when that's all finished up. Actually, you know what? Let's go to Gunther first and turn these in. That seems like a good idea first. That way you can at least see something I'm doing today. Aha, sweet. We got ourselves a new reward. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Ooh, a picture. Another one for my house. I should probably think about up on the upgrading that soon, too. This is new, and this is the only place where you can buy ice cream, too. It's only during the summer. Okay, so I'm gonna go up here and... Oops, I hate that walkway. It gets me every time. We're just gonna turn in this enemy one quick. I think it's down here. up here. Is it the adventurers? Yes it is. Haha, <laughs> I should complete it. Nice. Oops. What's our reward for this one? Oh, I already have that. Well, that's not exciting at all. So I just need fire quartz and a gold bar. And that entire bundle's done. I like it. That one's pretty easy. And then you get the minecarts working again? God, that'd be amazing. Then I have the save trips. Okay, so we're by the mines now. I'm gonna go in here if it's open. I have weird hours. Okay. And actually sell him the sword and ma magnet rings. I've already, had, I've already got them, so. 450, damn. And then 50. Cool. So now we can go straight to the mines. Which are actually close by. Cool. So, yes, I will go ahead and make a copper run, and then I'll get back to you guys in a bit. Alright, so we made it back to the farm. Again, as you can see, it's pretty late after my copper run. I didn't do very good. I must not have found the right level to go to, because I only have 23. And I left you guys quite a while ago, so... Uh, makes me a little mad, but... Should be enough, I think. Oh, I don't have enough room for those. Perfect! Okay, so let's put these back. I have six quartz. Jeez. Copper ore. Let's keep that. Put that in there. I found a yam, so that's something. Bug meat, geode, sap, winter root. No, let's put that somewhere else. So, we can go ahead and just throw those in. Gotta get some coal first. Ok, 
Okay, and then we are going to build some sprinklers because I'm done watering. Okay, I was just about to say it hasn't rained in quite a while, and look at that. So you know what that means. I don't have to water today. That's awesome. So the thing about this is that you can't let the chickens out because it's raining. But, where are we at here? That is where the wheat comes in handy. So if it's raining, and they can't come outside, you have to act. You have to actually go inside and get some hay from this dispenser over here. Okay, and then you place it on these over here, and then they'll eventually eat those. It's not their favorite thing, but it'll do just for a day. Um, so this is awesome. I don't have to water. It looks like copper's done. Okay. We're making a couple sprinklers right now. Whoa, what's going on? I almost threw my sword away. That was scary. Okay. So we gotta come in here. So we have ten. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. And then we can do... Put five back. Put the coal in there. Oh, I forgot to put those eggs away. Damn. Where's my foraging one? This can be foraging, I guess. Okay. And then we go like this. And then we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten sprinklers. That's how you do it. We are one step closer. Put that away, put that away. Let's go ahead and install those right now. The thing that's bad about this is... Um, I mean, I didn't build my farm necessarily to um, cater to these sprinklers. Right now, anyway. So, this is going to be kind of inefficient. Not being used to the max. Actually, you know, I could put one there. Put one there, so that one's already got those. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I... I guess I can just line this side with them, but that's very, uh... Just to get all those. Well, less tiles I have to do. Cool. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna go do some fishing. Because there's only certain fish you can catch in the rain. So, and it's been a while since it rained last. Just go ahead and toss that in there, and we have a new picture we can hang out. Hopefully I have room for it on my wall. Maybe. Oh boy. Can I go there? No, that little garland's in the way. I'm not gonna hang it on the floor. Oh, yeah, well. We're gonna need a bigger house. Which I do not have the money for. I went to go check how much it was. And it was 10,000 gold and 450 wood. And that's a lot. <laughs> That's asking quite a bit from a poor man like myself. Okay, so we're going to be going fishing in the lake today, which is just over here. Right by the mines. I know, this looks familiar. So... Oh, come on, this bridge. So this should be good. Like I said, this is a cool place up here. These, like, little islands. Oh, I see right out the gates. These are... Feisty one. A bullhead, huh? I think that was one. Um, let's go to the fish tank. Ocean Lake. Yep, so the bullhead's in there. Those other ones look really cool. I think it's a largemouth or a sturgeon. Or, I don't know what that is. Oh, I gotta go get that upgraded rod, actually, that he has. That fisher guy down there. Oops. Yeah. Let's go get that one, because you can put bait on your stuff now. Okay, so the fisher guy's down here. Hopefully he's in here, because sometimes he's not. And I don't know where he would go, so... There he is. Okay. 
So, oh god, it costs money. That sucks. Okay. Um, trout soup, huh? Interesting. So I think... Oh no, I have a bamboo one, don't I? It's 1800 damn. Oh, I can't afford that. I thought he, just, I thought he just gives it to you. 1800 That's a lot. Damn. Was the thing made of gold? No, it clearly says it was made of fiberglass. Okay. Well, since I'm down here... Alright, so welcome back. Sorry that took a while. Um, as you can see, it's nighttime. I was uh, pretty much fishing the whole time. Um, as you can see, all these different kinds of fish and stuff that I have. I actually picked this up. It's called a chewing stick. So it's something more. I can give it to Gunther. Where'd it go? There it is. Yeah, chewing stick. Interesting. We have lots of fish here. Some of these, I think, can be put into the bundle for fishing. Or the fish tank bundle. So I will go ahead and try and do that. Um, let's put these in here. Okay, we got some copper too from a chest there. Looking good. Okay, yeah, yeah. So that's a pretty successful day of fishing, I think. Hopefully I get leveled up. There it is. I can now do crab pots. Very nice. And that green bar gets even bigger. I'll take that gold. Alright, it's already day five. Summer's blowing by here. And it looks like it's a nice day out. No more rain, which means I have to do some watering today. So, but look at those sprinklers. Beautiful. Um, why did these die? Did I forget to water them? Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, but yeah, I can cut the wheat. And you know what? I'm actually going to put some sprinklers in here. What were those? Why did they die? Interesting. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to take some of these and put them in here to get maximum efficiency. So I can spray more than one. kind of goofy just because they're the way they're shaped they have like a cross pattern but hey we're doing good we've got a lot of wheat wheat we can put in uh, our farming one just throw that one in there and then just get this one too throw that one in there cool so yeah i'll do some watering okay so watering is getting a little easier now with those bushes around or bu bushes sprinklers um, we can go turn that chewing stick into Gunther, but I'm going to let the chickens out first. As you can see, this grass grows on its own. And it's I've only put 10 down. It looks like it's growing a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and come in here. Say hello. Hello, Richers. They're doing good. Open the door. Put the eggs in the chest. And... On my way to see Gunther. Alright, so here we are. Hopefully maybe we'll get a reward. I don't remember. No, not quite yet. But we have quite a few things on there. I wonder what that chewing stick was all about anyway. Okay, so. If, I don't know if you guys remember that earthquake that happened. But look at this. We are now able to access this area. Which... Um, has the train so that's pretty cool I mean there's not much to do up here um, but it's it's a pretty cool area let's get a lot of fiber so the train comes here every once in a while and it sometimes drops stuff you'll always, you, you'll get like a prompt sometimes like a little box that pops up saying a train is passing through Stardew Valley you could come up here and catch some stuff if it falls depending on the train but uh this is the bathhouse so if you go through the men's it's 
kind of cool in here. So it literally looks like a gym and a pool. Look at that, Mr. Cool. Keep the shades on. And this is what it looks like. So it's like a giant hot tub or something. Sauna. So yeah, not much to do in here. There's like a cutscene or two if you get, if you become friends with people. You can see somebody like tried to draw a Junimo on that stall there. So yeah, that's that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I mean, there's not much to do up here. I haven't found a use for it, and I'm sure there's stuff that I'm missing, but. Good sources of fiber up here. Get that worm block. Oh, look at that prehistoric tibia. Something else to give to Gunther. Okay, so we're back at the farm here after a quick little copper run. Uh, again, I did terrible. I only got seven. <laughs> Close that door so they don't hate me. Looks like we got some more pine tar. Uh, but my inventory's full. Damn it. Empty my goodies. So I got a whole bunch of stuff. Look at these red mushrooms. I think that's something we can turn into. Uh, what the hell? A Gunther, maybe? Or no, sorry. Uh, a bundle, maybe? We'll have to take a look at that. Quartz, coal. Get that in there. Actually, we look at it right now. Is it exotic foraging, I wonder? Not crafts room. Oh, maybe it is. Uh, yeah, there's a red mushroom right there. Cool. So that will come in handy. This is my forging one. We'll put one in there. Get rid of these damn seeds. And then, uh, yeah, color day. Cool. Let's see what time we got here. Uh, yeah, we can fit one more day in here. Let's do it. 34 gold. That's not very much. Okay, so, anything on TV? Nope. Chicken, you're looking good. Okay, look at these. Oh, look at that, we already got peppers growing. We're only six days in, five days in, something like that. That is some good stuff. Looks like our blueberry plants are growing nicely because of our speed grow that we put on them, which is very good. Go ahead and water the ones that they missed. Alright, I'm liking the sprinklers already. Just shaving off some time I can use elsewhere. Let's get rid of that stupid thing. Okay. So yes, yeah, all yeah, plants are watered, let's let chickens out. Grab them eggs. Yep, she's got half a heart now. Yep. Working her way up. Takes a while. Throw those in the chest. And now I think we can go turn in some stuff for those bundles. Won't complete one, but we'll get pretty close. Closer, anyway. I got some stuff I can put in here. Like two of them chilies. Let's go ahead and... Wait a minute, I think I need that for a summer thing. Oh god, that drum is going off. Yes, I do. I'm gonna save that, actually. So all three of those can go somewhere. Cool. And then go give that to Gunther, and then... Yeah, yeah, we're looking good here. I don't think I'm gonna finish this. Oh, okay, never mind, it's gone. So I didn't finish it. 25 copper ore. This stuff's hard to find. I might be at the wrong level. I would look that up or something. There's a wiki out there for Stardew Valley, and it's very helpful. So, which one is it? So the crafts room. Well, this one has one. That's where we put the hot pepper. Okay, there's there. Okay. Good there. And then we come down here to do the exotic foraging. That one goes there, and so does this. Wow, we're doing good. All we need is those maple syrup and oak resin, and we're good.
We're pretty far already, and it's only past the first season. Let's run down to Gunther and give this to him. Okay, so I'm just gonna throw this in here. Looks like we got some extra books too, I forgot. Nope, not quite reward yet. Some more books up here. Prairie King, Smash Hit Video Game. Really? The developer has stated that the protagonist is based on a real life character. A true cowboy hero. Interesting. Studying diamond yields. 50 or greater. Little 50, approximately 1 in 500 stones will be diamond rich. That's not very many. Yeah, no kidding. But there's actually a gem duplicator. You can pretty much put a diamond in it and you'll get two out every time. So you just get like, you can just free diamonds. I mean, come on, you just wait. Alright, so we're back at the farm here. It's going on 8 p.m. I think we're going to go ahead and call an episode there. Um, so, next time, I think we're going to delve even deeper into the mines. See how far we can get until we can't kill anybody or we need an upgrade on our tools again. Which I find in pretty close, coming up pretty quick here. And I hope that in our next episode we can do our first harvest of all of these crops. Which will eventually lead to a huge payday. And that is what's holding me back right now is I have no money. So I can advance further by upgrading my house and doing a whole bunch of other stuff too once I get the amount of money. So look forward to that in the near future. Um, please stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for the support so far in the series. Uh, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more. And we will talk to you guys in the next episode.